The reef knot is the most commonly used knot in surgery. It is very secure and reliable when tying off arteries or other human tissues together. Those who enjoy fishing will already be familiar with the reef knot and think of it as a simple knot tied in two stages. The first stage is left over right and the second stage is right over left. Left over right, loop it through, right over left, loop it through. This is a reef knot. You can see that when greater tension is applied across it, it gets tighter. However, in surgery, tying the knot is more difficult, as you only have one degree of freedom. This means the side of the string or suture material in your dominant hand never lets go. In my case, this is my right hand. The right side of the string will always be in my right hand. The left side of the string will only be in my left hand. I have taken the right side of the string between my middle finger and my thumb. I wrap the left side of the string around the tissue I want to tie off and take it between my thumb and index finger. It is important to keep tension on the string at all times to orientate yourself and to ensure a tight knot. The first stage is left over right. I hook the left string with the index finger of my right hand and this makes a figure of four facing me. I then loop the left string under and tighten the string. For the second stage, I place my three left fingers on the left string, wrap it around, hook the right string with my left middle finger, pull the right string lateral to the left string, push the left string so that it falls between my middle and ring finger, then pull it through the loop and tighten it. That is a reef knot. I will now repeat this a few times. Note that my right hand never lets go of the right string. Stage one, left over right. Figure of four, through the loop, tighten. Stage two, wrap around, hook, pull through. Good luck with the practice. For more of a challenge, try tying a reef knot in a glass cylinder with the hook. The hook comes out quite easily, so this means that the tension must be applied correctly so as not to pull the hook out. Keep trying and you'll continue to improve.